Guys, welcome, Matt from Total Drama here. And today we are gonna learn three impressive, but really easy linear drum beats. There's gonna be three of them, but really we're only gonna learn one. So it's a really quick win this. It's gonna be super simple, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with number one. Now, all of the sheet music for this lesson is below this video. You can go and click below and download it completely free. In case you don't know, linear just means we're playing one voice at a time, so we're not doubling up on hi-hat and bass or hi-hat and snare, one thing at a time. This creates a really interesting approach to our rhythms, but it also kind of makes it easy in a way, because although they can sound a bit quirky and it can feel a bit weird to learn, we're only playing one thing at a time, so providing you slow it down enough, these are not difficult. So, good news, we're gonna learn the first beat now, and it's 16th notes, and actually, it repeats the same, like the first half is then repeated for the second half. So we only have to learn two beats with 16th notes in each, so it's only eight notes, okay? That's it, eight notes, that's all we need for this entire lesson to learn three awesome drum beats. We're gonna use the same sticking pattern, the same phrasing for all of them, right? So, number one, let's break this down. The first chunk, we're gonna learn four 16th notes at a time just to keep it really simple. And what we're going to do here is play bass, left hand, right hand, bass. So it's bass, left, right, bass. Okay, and then the second phrase is going to go left, bass, right, left. So it's left, bass, right, left. And that's it, you've, you've learned the beat. No joke, you've learned it. So what you'll see on the sheet music is, and what you can hear when I'm playing, is to bring this to life, we've got dynamics. So we've got some softer notes on the snare, we've got those ghost notes, and then we've got the loud back beat on beat two. Without the dynamics, it sounds a little bit robotic, a bit lifeless. Learn it without the dynamics first. So the first stage is learn the order of limbs. And you can just do this on the floor and on your legs. You know, you can just tap this out or on a table. Kick is, you know, on the floor, left hand, right hand. Just learn the order of the limbs, super slow. And that's why I've called this lesson easy. If you try and play it like I played it at the beginning, that's not easy. If you slow it down enough, Anyone could do this, it's so simple, right? So learn the order of the limbs, then put the hands on the kit in the right voice in, so left hand on snare, right hand on hi-hat, and then finally bring the dynamics in and it's gonna sound awesome. And as you build the speed up, just go gradually, don't learn it and then suddenly go fast. Just take it up gradually so it always flows, always feels comfortable, you're always relaxed, and then it's gonna be easy. Alright guys, so now we're going to learn beat number two. And I mentioned this at the beginning, it's the same phrasing. So you learnt your one beat, you've put the work in already, all we're going to do now is move this around the kit. So we're going to use different voicings, it will make it sound like a totally new beat. The listener, your fans will think, wow, you're so awesome, you can play all these beats. But really it's going to be the same beat. We're just moving it around. Smoke and mirrors. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to move our right hand away from the hi-hat, and we're gonna take it over to the ride cymbal. I've written it as being on the bell of the ride because that sounds pretty cool, but you can play it anywhere on the ride cymbal. And the left hand is now gonna move between playing the hi-hat and the snare for the ghost notes, and then the back beat will remain on the snare. Okay, so the right hand's quite easy. We've just gone from hi-hat over to the ride. The left hand is now gonna move between the snare and the hi-hat. 
okay? So it's a little bit more to think about there. So take your time, learn the first beat, learn the first example. When you've got that down, making these small adjustments isn't such a big deal. So let's check this out. Okay, so for the first four notes, it's bass, snare, ride, bass. Same, same sticking as before. And on the sheet music, you'll see K for kick. I've written bass as kick, right? So it's kick, left hand snare, right hand ride, kick. For the second phrase, it's going to be that left hand loud on the snare. Then we're going to do a kick, then we're going to do a ride, and then we're going to play a hi-hat. Okay, so this is where we're going to move. We were on the snare, now we're going to move it to the hi-hat. Alright, so now we're coming to beat three, and although we're using the exact same phrasing, the same sticking, we're going to move it a little bit differently around the kit. So we're going to start with click, click. We're going to do kick, left hand on the hi-hat, right hand on the ride, and then kick again. So it's kick, hi-hat with the left, ride with the right, kick. And then finally we're going to do our backbeat on beat four, left hand on snare, kick, ride, and then finish with a ghost note snare. Again, the ghost note, the dynamics you can add at the end, all right? But just get used to the way that that beat moves. So once you get free with this, moving that left hand between the snare and the hi-hat isn't difficult at first. It will be, so, so go super, super slow, learn it in those, those blocks like we just did it there, and just gradually bring up the speed. Check out the whole bar, I'll, play, I'll, I'll loop it around a couple of times. Alright guys, and now your third and final example, and this is a kind of powerful tom-tom version of this groove. Again, exact same sticking, exact same sticking, but we're gonna move around the kit a little bit differently. We're gonna use the tom-toms to create a powerful groove. So now the right hand for beat one was on the hi-hat, then for beat two is on the ride, now it's gonna be on the floor tom. It's gonna stay on the floor tom. And just like in the previous example, the left hand's gonna move a little bit. So it's going to do the big back beats on the snare still, but then the left hand's going to also play on the high tom and sometimes on the floor tom. Exact same sticking, right? So the first bit goes, we're going to go kick, left, right, kick again. But what we're going to do this time is kick, left on the high tom, right on the floor tom, then the kick. And then for the second part of this, B2, we're gonna go back B, left hand on the snare, kick, and then we're gonna do that right left on the floor tom. Had to check, I'm not telling you the wrong thing there. So it's gonna go left hand, big snare, kick, and then right left on the floor tom. Now we come to beat three. So this is the same as beat one, except we're gonna move it a bit. Now we're gonna do both hands on the floor tom. So this simply goes, kick, left, right on the floor tom, kick. So it's kick, floor, floor, kick. Kick, left, right, kick. Now 
And then the last phrase, we come to beat four, we're gonna do our big back beat with the left hand on the snare, then a kick, then we're gonna go right hand on the floor tom, left hand up on the high tom. Okay, so a bit like we did in the first beat where we did the, the left hand on the high tom, we've come back to do it again. Check it out. Okay, and that's the same beat. So just like in, in example two, that left hand moved between the snare and the hi-hat, here it's gonna move between the well, snare for back beat, the high tom and the floor tom. It makes it sound more complex. It sounds like there's more going on, but there's not really. You, so again, learn it super slow to, to get used to those movements before you speed it up. Let's, let's, let's have a little listen to the whole bar or loop it around again so you can get a feel for how this, how this loops and how it grooves. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get told when new lessons are coming and you can stay in touch. Grab the sheet music, it's completely free, so there's a link below this video to go and get it. Um, if you like this as well, check out another lesson which teaches a really impressive drum fill that um, is, is easy to learn. So just like these linear beats, sounds really cool, it's easy to learn, gives you a nice quick win. You can go and watch that video now, completely free as well. Check it out, have fun with it, and I'll see you next time.